Welcome to Aging in Style with me, Lori Williams. I'm an optimist by nature, and I believe you can follow your dreams at any age. My grandmother's journey with dementia ignited a passion in me to work with seniors. I've spent the past 13 years learning about seniors and aging. In my mid-50s, I followed my own dream and founded my company, where I use my expertise to help seniors locate housing and resources. On this podcast, we cover all aspects of aging. Join us each week to meet senior living experts and inspirational seniors who are following their dreams. The fact is, we're all aging, so why not do it in style? Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Aging in Style with Lori Williams. Um, Today, we are going to talk about downsizing. And this is a topic that comes up all the time with seniors that I'm helping. They don't want to move because they're so inundated with stuff. Maybe they've been in their house 20, 30, 40 years, and it's just such an overwhelming task to think about how am I going to downsize? What am I going to take to a smaller, you know, senior living apartment or home? So they just kind of like give up on it. So what people don't know is that there are some great services out there that that's what they specialize in. And so today we are going to talk to Donna Ray, who owns the franchise of Caring Transitions North Dallas Suburbs. And she launched her business in November of 2011. And she operates proudly as a women owned and operated business with her daughter, Nicole Ray. So Caring Transitions, what they do is they specialize in assisting seniors and their families with downsizing. They do the professional packing and moving services services, as well as liquidation services, including estate sales and online auctions. So she has a lot of great information to share with us. And I think you're going to learn a lot. So welcome, Donna. Thank you, Lori. So excited to be here with you today. Well, good. I'm so glad you agreed to be on the show and share your knowledge and what you do to help seniors. So what led you into working with seniors? Many years ago, uh, I started doing Meals on Wheels and then also hospice. And the more I volunteered in that arena, uh, delivering meals and, you know, having the opportunity to sit and visit with um, some of the adult seniors who were shut in, uh, I just really felt called to working with the demographic and to to chat with and just the, the pearls of wisdom that they can share with you and working um, also with hospice gave me another basically another way to to understand and not only compassion at end of life but the families and what they're going through so that was another opportunity and um, my late husband he wanted to do something different in our retirement and uh, he was in telecommunications for 42 years and we happened upon, if you will, uh, Karen transition and basically investigated the possibilities of, you know, what would it entailed. And uh, we signed our franchise agreement of 2011 and the rest is history. We're in our 10th year. So here we wow. are. That's wonderful. Congratulations. So I mentioned in the intro that Caring Transitions is a franchise. So can you tell us a little bit about the company? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Caring Transitions North Dallas Verbs is what the the office that I own. Um, And so we've got over 200 offices across the United States. And basically, we're all trained exactly alike. And what really makes it a beautiful thing is when we have, uh, you know, we'll get a call from a community or a realtor saying, oh, we have somebody moving from Tucson, Arizona. Can you help us? And I can pick up the phone very easily and call our Tucson office office and say, hey, can you check them there and then we'll finish it when the truck gets here and we'll do the unpack and resettle and everything like that. And vice versa, if we have somebody leaving Dallas and going somewhere else, then if we do not have an office or caring transitions office in that location, we belong to NASM, uh, which is the National Association of Move Managers, and we have that reach as well. So we're able to tap into those resources of companies that are vetted that we can partner with to serve our seniors across the country, which is an awesome thing to be able to do. I think that is wonderful because being in this area of Dallas, as you know, we have so many people moving from different states, a lot from California, (laughs) but they're moving here and then they bring their parents as well. So what a wonderful service to be able to get them packed where they are and then help them unpack and get settled in their home here. 
Absolutely. And we did see that influx when uh, Toyota moved to their headquarters. We definitely were, you know, we rose to the occasion. We were able to help families that way, not only serving, you know, our adult seniors, but also the adult children of, you know, our seniors and, and their families. So. Oh, great. Okay. So when someone is thinking about downsizing, um, and like I mentioned, people get kind of overwhelmed, especially if you're a senior, you get really overwhelmed with the thought of um, going through 40 years of things packed into your closet. And I've been in my house 23 years, so that overwhelms me. I don't even want to look in some of my closets. <laughs> so if someone comes to you and, and they're thinking about moving, but they have all this stuff, where do they start? So many, many times when we go in to do our consultations, our clients have been living in their home for 30, 40, 50 years. That's never a surprise to us. And they're basically paralyzed by the thought of where do I begin? Where do I start? So what we always recommend is starting with bite-sized planning. Um, and so we start small. And we, we have people on our team that will come in and help our clients with the sorting and organizing process. And we always talk about the, the four steps and it's basically keeping what you love, donating what you don't need or, you know, that you've loved for years, but you really don't use it anymore. Gifting, uh, to your friends and family and then recycling or repurposing because that's a big thing. And so that's, that's our four step process about sorting and organizing. And so when we go in, you know, we, we have systems and, and, and things in place like, you know, using different colored trash bags and using different colored totes to clearly delineate what's going to each area of, you know, keeping moving, you know, and so on and so forth. Great. That's very organized. I love that. <laughs> so when someone, and this is kind of what I do, as everyone knows, so I help someone find a senior community. They found the perfect apartment in a independent living community. They're ready to move. So how do you help them decide what's going to go from the house to the new apartment? Lori, that's a great question. When we go and uh, meet with our clients, we typically spend one to two hours with them one on one. And so here's what's, here's what's really, really cool. Part of our services that we offer is we'll obtain the floor plan of the apartment or home that they're moving to. And we will physically measure their furniture and lay it out on a tablet and, and give them a, a full floor plan. Mm -hmm. And so they know, okay, well, the king size bed and three dresses may not fit in their bedroom, but you know this will fit. And also, it's about empowering them to make the decisions that need, they need to make in terms of helping lay out and for them to visually see. Okay, this is this is my new home, and this is what will fit and what will not fit. But again, empowering them to make the decisions. Okay, well, this won't fit, but I would really like to take this item. So floor planning is critical to making sure that you know we're, we're successful. On the other end when, once we get moved. So that usually, that process, you know, again, we're measuring furniture, we're laying it out, meeting back with them after we've laid out the floor plan, and then sitting on, sitting down and discussing with them. And I think that is very cool because a lot of us aren't super visual. I mean, I, I really, <laughs> I mean, I, I need to see it laid out. So I think that is very helpful and probably takes a lot of that stress off the senior um, who you know, doesn't know, is this going to fit? Can I take this? And, and they just really don't don't know. And a lot of times, uh, more things are going to fit than they may have thought. Or you may be able to say, this item, maybe you have it in the bedroom here, but it would look good over in this area in your, you know, living space. So I think that's a wonderful service that you offer. Yes, many times with our clients, a lot of times they're moving. Um, so if they've got a, you know, a 4,000 square foot home, let's say, and they're moving into uh, an apartment home that has, they, a lot of times we'll see them moving to a two bedroom mm -hmm. where they're using one bedroom as a study and, you know, just kind of rearranging how it was laid out in their house versus, you know, how, how it's going to lay out in their new, in their new place if it's, you know, if it's a big downsize. So again, empowering them to make the decisions of what, what of their furnishings are important, most important to them, and um, being able to, to to leave behind what is what is not as critical, and making sure it all fits. Yeah, I know that must give them so much peace of mind to have your service. It really does. Floor planning that that service is is a really very very important piece of our process. So you help them. Okay, so they find their new apartment. You go in and help them figure out, sort through everything, and then lay out what they're taking, how it's going to look, and then you actually can help them the next step with packing everything up and moving. 
Yes. So um, our team is fully trained in, in all aspects of the services that we offer. So we have a professional packing team. Uh, some people say, well, I've got, you know, these are heirlooms and I don't want them to get broken. You know, we know about bubble wrap and we know how to pack properly. And the other very important thing is we use what we call mirroring. So one of the things that we feel is very critical to a successful move for our clients is that they feel at home when they move immediately. So one of the things that we do is we pay special attention to if they've got a, a curio and they've got a lot of their lifetime collectibles, whether it be Hummels or Yadro or whatever, that we're taking pictures of those items and recreating the spaces we saw it in their house and recreating it in their new home or in their new apartment. And so when they walk in the second or third day, that it feels immediately at home, whether it be the nightstand beside them and their, their nightstand set up, you know, exactly as it was at home, or their two finger spacing in their closet with their, their blue and yellow and white shirts all put together. Those are just important keys to helping our clients feel immediately at home once they walk into their new place. That's wonderful. And I know it's really important, especially with someone um, with memory issues. And we see this a lot where they will set up the bedroom to look exactly like what their room looked like at home with pictures and everything just to make it an easier transition. Yes, absolutely. And the other thing too is, you know, a lot of times if we, if we're working, um, with the adult children and, and mom or dad and or both may have any type of cognitive or memory issues or whatever, you know, we're always walking hand in hand with the adult children to make sure that we're all successful all the way around. This full communication, which is so important. Oh, communication <laughs> is so key. Yeah, so key. wonderful. So what if they have items that you can't move, maybe there's no space for it, just doesn't make sense to move it, whatever it may be. What can you do then? So that's a really, really critical thing. So we, we always recommend the pack, move, resettle to happen first. Then that's the beauty of having a full suite of services. If there are items that need to be taken care of that are left in the home to get to the large asset, which is getting the house on the market typically, we have several liquidation options. So one of the things that we do um, and do it well is we could do an online auction, and we'll talk about COVID in a second, but we can do estate sales, we can do cleanouts, we can do um, donation coordination and things like that. But what we want to do is to help them to be able to clear the house and get it ready to be able to list it on the market. Mm -hmm. I always say that to people, if they can, if they are able to, let's get the house cleared out, get yourself moved, if you can get moved into your new place, settled in, and then put the house on the market. I think that is just so critical. Yes. And the liquidation piece, because they're like, well, what am I going to do with everything that's left over? You know, I'm in 4,000 square feet and I'm going to 1,200. And, you know, we just walk them through. Let's get you packed. Let's get you moved, resettled. And then we'll go in and figure out after. The other thing that, that I really want to point out, especially if there are any adult children that are listening, is we always have the family go through and make sure that any family treasures are, you know, kept within the family and taken care of before we go in to do our liquidation. That's really an important key. Um, and if we do find anything like legal papers, money, whatever, that's always put aside and given to the family um, during our process. That's interesting because I, I know when this just kind of made me think of this, when my grandmother passed many years ago and we were going through her stuff. She had money in the pockets of like her little house dresses and things. And this was back in the 80s. But they found like all this money in pockets of things. So do you see that a lot with seniors? Let me give you a couple of examples. So one time um, we were doing a liquidation of a full-blown estate sale in Fairview. And uh, we were working, both parents had passed and we were working with three adult sons. And um, we said, you know, we, when we were talking with them, we're like, well, we're going to go through every book, every, you know, closet, everything. And they're like, you're not going to find any money in my parents' house. They were not like that. Well, it was so funny because um, we were moving actually a dresser out of a bedroom. And um, so my husband had taken the drawers out of the, the bedroom dresser to go ahead and move. And um, he's like, wow, there's envelopes 
taped to the back of the dresser drawer and there was $14,000 in cash taped to the back of the dresser. It's just stuff like that, that, you know, you know, we're checking. And so that became, and that was early on and that became just a, basically a point of, you know, we're checking the freezer to make sure it doesn't look like wrapped up meat or whatever. And then another time, one of our clients, her, her son was basically managing. um, She had, some memory issues and stuff and it was it was found in her vanity stool and it was about forty six thousand oh dollars you know and it's just shocking shocking situations but you know that's why it's really important Lori when you're when you're vetting companies sure you're working with a company of high integrity and you know honesty and that's one of the things that we really really pride ourselves in is integrity and honesty yeah that is so good to know that's amazing forty six thousand dollars so yeah, yeah. This, is, this is no joke i mean yeah wow that's the generation though it as is. you know mm-hmm. yeah because i know i don't i don't remember exactly how much was found in my grandmother's um in her clothes but like i said in every pocket there was some money so i think it was you know probably a couple of thousand dollars so uh, be sure you know if you're going through your parents things or grandparents things to check pockets and check behind furniture check all kinds of little secret places <laughs> yeah it's just not under the mattress anymore it's everywhere it so. is right not the yeah. obvious place so so with covid obviously that's made some changes to everyone so what kind of changes have you seen with your business so let's talk about that for a second. Um, one of the things that I really want to emphasize is the protocols that we've put in place for our team. We follow strict protocols, not only internally, but we also do double duty for whatever our senior communities are expecting from us. So if they have to take their temperature three times a day, you know, taking it at home, taking it at the end of the day, the beginning of the day, and then also the community as they're checking in, uh, we're, you know, we'll do whatever we need to do. The one big pivot that I want to talk about that we have done through COVID, we were very well known in the area with our dealers, resellers, and our followers for doing traditional estate sales. So as being a responsible company uh, in, in the Metroplex, we felt it was not responsible to do traditional estate sales and having 40, 50 people in a house shopping. So one of the things that we did in Caring Transitions as a whole have, that we've been doing online auctions um, as, as a company for a few years. And last year, um, we had spent quite a bit of money perfecting a platform, our own internal platform called CT Bids, um, to be able to do our own internal online auctions. So our office, um, because we're so successful with traditional state sales, we kind of pushed that aside for a little while, but we had to do this, we had to pivot, I mean, big mm-hmm. time. And we started doing online auctions in April. And basically, that's all we're doing right now. We're doing online auctions to help families liquidate. And they've been hugely successful. People love to shop at home. Um, We have great uh, systems in place for when people are picking up their items. We ship items across the United States. Uh, But we've got auctions going every day, all day long throughout the United States on our own CT Bids platform, which is really pretty cool. So, uh, How do you find that platform if you wanted to go on and take a look at what you have? (laughs) CT like carrying transitions, so ctbids.com, and it's 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 its own platform. Oh, that's really cool. That's good to know, or maybe yeah. not so good to know because I do like to shop. <laughs> yeah, that's great. There's anything from you know high end art to jewelry to furnishings to collectibles and things like that. It's really cool because you could type an item if you're looking for a Yadro, for instance. You could go on to the platform and say Yadro, and it'll bring up all the Yadros in the country that are for sale at that moment in time within our CT bid. So it's really a cool. Uh, it's really a cool platform and it's been hugely successful for us. Oh, wow, I bet. So the other thing that I have people mention to me with COVID moving into community. So I've had some communities like it was, and I know it's gotten better as we've kind of, you know, learned more how to deal with COVID, but some communities um, you have to move in certain times. Are you finding that like you have to move in evening hours or just when there's not as many residents around? It really, Lori, it really depends on the senior community. Many times the communities are 
basically telling us, okay, this is your time slot for elevator usage and things like that. So usually Monday through Friday is a typical time. And then there's usually, a, you know, not around lunch time where there's a lot of people walking around, things like that. Again, there have been a lot of changes that we've had to make um, as we're operating through COVID. And, um, you know, I, I'm just proud to say that we've kept our, our team safe. Um, and, you know, knock on wood, we're very blessed that nobody's um, – come down with COVID and um, you know, we're, we just, you know, we feel for the communities because we've all suffered through this um, and, you know, we're continuing to, to navigate these uncharted waters and working together to, to basically get through and do what we can do to help keep not only our team, but most importantly, our adult seniors who are, you know, vulnerable to keep them safe as well. Yeah, absolutely. So what, and I'm sure you get this question, but what is the approximate cost for your services? So one of the most important things, obviously, we offer a full suite of services. One of the most important things, um, and I always say one call does it all to uh, to our office, we set up an in-home consultation. That is very, very critical. So uh, sometimes, you know, people call and say, can you tell us how much it'll cost? Well, we don't know how big your house is. We don't know how much stuff you have. We don't, we don't know. There's a lot of unknowns. So we never give blind quotes over the phone. We will spend in one to two hours with you in home consultation that's free of charge there's no charge for our consultation and by the time we're done with that consultation you will have a written estimate of line item packing moving unpacking resettling liquidation everything will be line itemed out and our, what's beautiful is that our services are tailored to our clients' needs, and they can cherry pick whatever services that they want or need. Sometimes the adult children are saying, "Like, I want to, I want to do the resettle for my parents. If you could just pack it, that take that's very time consuming, but let us do the resettle. You do the liquidation, things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty of offering the suite of services, the free consultation, and also, you know. Again, one call does it all because we do offer so many items or services within our suite. That's so wonderful. I love that the service exists, and I'm so glad we're sharing this so more people can know about it. <laughs> um, okay, well, yeah. yeah. I always like to ask people this question. So is there a senior, either in the past or a customer you run across, anyone who you just find very inspirational? All of our clients are very special to us. You know, there are so many standouts. I would say one of the most special things that's, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty sentimental person. And I remember when we first opened our doors for business, we had our first client call and I'm like, we don't even have our insurance, you know, in place yet or anything. She said, but I want to be your first client. And I need a liquidation done. And, and, and we still keep in touch, uh, you know, our, my very first client. And she, you know, she was very, very near and dear, uh, and still remains to be near and dear to my heart because she took the chance on us, you know, for, you know, for a, a company just like starting out and things like that. But there have been so many of our clients through the years. And I think that's one of the most important things of how we serve. Our team has such a spirit of servanthood. And I think that's one of the most important things. And we, we interviewed a client um, not too long ago. We did a client testimonial. And one of the things that he said to us, um, we did a full liquidation, full pack move resettled. He, he took every piece of our services that we offered. And I said, you know, really, what stood out to you um, during, you know, our process? And he said, your people. And that as an owner was, it spoke volumes. Mm -hmm. But there have been so many clients, the kindness, the, the, the one thing that I really love is when we're able to go in and help the adult children who are busy with their full-time jobs and they're, you know, sometimes we're dealing with loss and, and sometimes we're dealing with, you know, they're excited, their parents are excited to move to independent living and not have to, the, you know, the, the, they'll be, you know, undergoing this whole lock and leave thing that they can move into a community and not have to worry about, you know, the, the burdens of owning a home and, 
you know, and things like that. And, and they're excited for their parents to be able to take this next step. So just dealing with the excitement of the adult children and then also their parents who are moving into the different communities. But one of the things that I would recommend, you know, go on Google, read some of our reviews. You know, we're a five-star company on Google and we're super proud of that. Um, but we do what we say we're going to do. And I believe that that is one of the really the keys to success of Caring Transitions North Dallas suburbs. Absolutely. Follow up and, and passion, what you have and excellent customer service. So you have it all. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we, we, we do. And, you know, it's all about doing what you say you're going to do. That is such an important thing. Um, and especially working with um, adult seniors, a lot of times they're used to just handshake agreements and things. And they're really, when you're saying you're going to do something, they're expecting and they remember, you know, you told me, you know, you're going to handle this. And by golly, you know, we're going to do it because we're going to stand behind everything that we said during the consultation. It's not just lip service. We're really going to deliver what we say we, we, we were going to during our consultation. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Donna, thank you so much for coming on the podcast and sharing about your business. Um, I just really appreciate you doing this. And I think you're going to enlighten a lot of people uh, about a service that they may not have known about. Thank you, Lori, and I wish you uh, tremendous success in your business and um, as we all navigate through Thank all you. of this. And I thank you for the opportunity. This has been just a delight to uh, spend some time with you this morning. Well, great. Well, thank you so much. And as always, if y'all have um, questions or want to, you know, access more resources, you can go to my website, which is Lori Williams senior services.com. And please share the podcast with your friends and family and neighbors. Just get it out there because this is all great information that people need to know about. Thanks so much. And we'll talk to you next time. Mm-hmm.